Hey, welcome back everyone. The project right now is in a very good state and almost all the functionality that's required by us have been implemented, which is the authentication, the authentication system, the listing of the plans, and trying to manipulate between multiple models, and having uh, this uh, uh, viewing the plans with all the details, marking item as a check, then uncheck, remove, edit, add, uploading files, so all what we want to achieve from the, the core of application has been implemented, right? And it's working perfectly. We can log out over here. And this is actually going to put you in a very good state to build other cool things with the Blazor and Mudblazor. But before we finalize this and put it online, we want to make like some, a little bit of tweaks to, to make this application look great. What we are going to do is we are going to fix this link. We will uh, fix this color over here. Here we have some problems like this loading details is not updating what if there are a lot of items over here so let's try to add uh, another item uh, playing football watching f1 for example learning.net and building apps let's see things like that uh, one more item and another item. So as you can see, like this is leading to an infinity page, right? Which is, this is not good. Like what if there is like 20? So what we are going to do is actually to limit the, uh, the height of this one. So let's, let's try to do it using inspect elements first. So I will go over here and we'll pick this one. So this is the mother grid and I'm gonna wrap it. Uh, I'll click on edit as HTML and we'll add a dev. We'll close that dev at, at the very end. Like over here. Dev. Cool. So now we have this dev. Oh, this dev didn't wrap it. Okay, let's try to again uh, edit this as an item. Okay. Dev. Oh, we forgot this one. And then we just go ahead and add that one over here. And this is all what we need. Cool. So right now, this has been wrapped within this uh, within this dev. So what you are going to do is just to set a max height for this dev. For example, 400 pixel. And the other thing that we're going to do, overflow y, which is like the vertical line. We are going to make it uh, 02. So this is exactly what you are aiming for. So right now, this list is scrollable. Don't worry about this. Like we have, I have broken it by adding some broken devs, but this is this is what we are going to do. So let's go ahead and start implementing this right now in the code. So I will first go to the pages shared and we'll open the main layout and here you can see that we have uh, the nav menu so let's go to the nav menu it's in another code okay cool so this add a plan we should make it plans slash four if we don't pass an id then it's a create if we pass an id then it is edit so this is the first one that have been sold we are going to remove this not done item and we are going to put it in the in the dashboard itself uh, this about page, don't worry about it. Like here, you're just a place where you can write your uh, things about your project. Now let's go to the login display, which is that little icon that you can see at the top. But the color over here is it is set to secondary. But I'm gonna set it to default. And one more thing that I need to do is. To basically let's go to the pages 
and open up plans. Ah, uh, sorry, go to components, plans, plan details dialog. And instead of having this one over here, this one looks like it is not working. So I'm gonna copy this and we'll type over here. Plan details. So in the very top, we are going to. This is the skeleton. Yeah, here on top of the image, I'm gonna add this plan just like that. I'm gonna make it subtitle one. And the other thing that I wanna do is, yeah, to add a representation for this one as a text here. Then one thing we need to do is, this one is taking seven. This one is taking seven. So basically we need, we need to increase this to make it just 200. If you are wondering how we can use this multi-courser, just hit shift alt and then go up and down so you create as much courses as you want for each line and then you can start typing in multiple lines together so that's cool um, we have solved this issue we have done somehow like multiple things ah sorry 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 this one what should be uh, 250 200 sorry Cool. So almost this one has been sold. Right now, yeah, this those are the items that we have saved. We want to wrap within a within a dev. So let's do that. We don't need a class actually, just an empty dev with a little style. I'm gonna set it as inline style, but of course you can create a, or yeah, let's do it. I will click on add a new item. CSS to use this component level uh, style sheet, it has to be the same name of the component. So plan details dialog the phraser dot css like that. It has to be the same name, and it has the same extension. But at the end, it has dot css of course because it's a CSS file. As you can see, it's going to be created here, and we will call it plans sorry items container it's a very simple thing max height for example 400 pixel overflow y auto and this is it all but you can take this class go over here type class here we go this is it that's very simple let's run the app and see what we have right now Here we go. So this one, okay, well, this one, yeah, it looks better than the old color, but still uh, it, it needs to be white. But of course we need to implement the dark light and uh, the dark and light modes. So this is what we are gonna do in the next video. So we will handle this colors. And as you can see here, we don't have this. If you click on add a plan, here we go. Right now this one is working. We have fixed that. If we go to this plans, and if we try to open up this, here we go. This has been solved as well, but this is not like we still have this one very long. We forget this at over here. So let's figure out why this one is not working. We will open and items container. So this one. Oh, because it doesn't take the CSS. Let's try to hard refresh. We'll click over here. Oh, here we go. Right now it's working. And yeah, it is, it is very good. It is very good. So if 
you click like that, here we go, we can see all of them. It's not that long, and whatever it takes, like we can still see it very well. So let me mark those items as done. The functionality of the app just working like awesome. So let's add this little add over here, and we are just done for this session. Okay, let's go down and here, just add, add, and that's it. This is everything. That was very, very easy. So, thank you so much for, uh, for, for watching and following this. Now, in the next video, we are going to implement the multiple modes from dark theme and light theme. So, the user can pick between uh, uh, one of them and store that in the storage. Then, in the, the video after that, we are going to implement the dashboard. This is going to be just a very basic dashboard. We'll show the not done items yet. And uh, the other one is going to be uh, localization data from Arabic to English. And we can add as many languages as we want. And at the end, we are going to push this app to Azure and make it available <coughs> on a, the new service Azure Static App. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.